afternoon. This is Miss Nita and Miss Miss Panda and Mr. Kitty Blaze with the timepiece garden. I'm gonna see if they can do the play thing. I'm gonna get up on each other. Easy Panda. She's like, yep, just hang out under the Jeep. Panda can't get me here. She wasn't all the way under the Jeep. She was just kind of next to it. Panda will come by later and Kitty will jump out and get him. Or get her. He will get her. Panda's like, you should do it all that time. Don't do it all the time because you're still a little rough. Anyway, I took the, uh, Took the light off the pole it's in the chicken coop and i will test it when i go to put them up tonight to see if it comes on um i i moved it because it does a a low glow does that make sense and then it does a bright glow when it senses movement i um, mean that's what i want so nights when i get home and it's like 8 30 9 o'clock right now it is dark we had the, the the clouds the other couple of days and yes i have a headlamp and yes i've got you know flashlights but it's nice to be able to look and see a low glow light in the run. So I know, you know, where I'm going, what direction. There's nothing out there going to surprise me. I just like that. Um, having said that, I'm going to go ahead and hang one of, zoom back out so y'all can see one of these. I've been, they worked awesome last night. I let them sit here and charge on the deck where I get sun. Um, and so last night, every time Panda would walk by or the kitty would walk by or I'd open and close the door. Um, it was like spotlight flashing show here on the deck. So both of them work. Um, but I'm going to stick one of them over there. Long term, I want to... Uh, I didn't think about it while I was in the store. I need to hook it up like I have that one. Sorry, sun's on the screen. so it's. But I've got a couple of U-bolts attached to a piece of wood to the T-post. And then that way the, 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 the light source mounts to the wood, which is, is how it should be. Um, these are designed to be mounted so but I got a couple of zip ties you know I'm just gonna hook one of them up on the pole there so I can test it and see if it actually does what I want it to do before I go and buy some more u-bolts you know or go buy another light like the one that just moved out to the the chicken room so we'll see talk to you in a few Alright, it's up. A couple of zip ties, a little bit of fencing wire. Um, it will last a couple days like that to decide if it works the way I want it to work. Um, if so, then I'll get, you know, a piece of 2x4 and some U-bolts and I'll make it permanent. Um, having said that, I only put the one up since the other one is still here. Hey, zoom out so you can see it. There you go, it's still there. It'll stay there for right now. Just, you know, I'm not sure where I want to put it. On the back side. That's the easiest way for me to say that. Anyway, while it's sunny and I'm in the sun and can be a little warm, I'm going to start pruning this guy back. Um, this is from where the wind blew him over and he never recovered from it. Um, he's no longer in bloom. It's my Rosa Sharon, but he's no longer in bloom. Uh, Daddy hummingbirds left first so they could go to their winter territory and claim pl places. Mamas went second. Um, that gave the babies the opportunity to just, you know, feed and feed and feed and then they left and they're all gone. Um, so... I'll go ahead and prune him back so I can have my walkway back. Talk to you in a few. Yes, it's so much less now. <laughs> so, um, the, where's my finger? There's my finger. You can kind of see where Panda is back there, that black spot. I've got to prune it down that far. Does that make sense? Because all, all, the, all the branches have got this, this crazy bend in it. And I'm going to have to take it below the bend. Otherwise, when it starts doing new branches come spring, it's just going to bend over again. So I'm going to have to take it down. <sighs> to get, uh, you know, below the bend. Strengthen it up a little. But it's trimmed. 
I also went ahead and trimmed back the yarrow because it had all gone to seed. And I trimmed back the uh, garlic chive heads here. Now the garlic chives, I went ahead and spread them over around the tree and then kind of down the property that, where, my, where I stopped mowing. That's where I put all the garlic chive heads. If they come back wild, that's okay. I will treat them like a wildflower. You know, like an iris or a, a delilah that just comes back year after year because it is a bulb form. Um, same thing like the, the wild onion chives that, that grow on the hill, you know? So, life is awesome. Yeah, I've been trying to find stuff to do in the sun because it's warmer. And having said that, y'all have an awesome day. And Panda, who's sitting in the shade because we've got to play in for Frisbee. And Miss Kitty. Excuse my porch, it's a mess again. And Miss Kitty, or Mr. Kitty, we will talk to you later. All right, I figure it's gone dark enough that the street light, my security light there is on. Yay! Um, so we're gonna test, we're gonna test this one first. See if it picks up the movement. All right, now it didn't come on. I'm wondering if I bumped the, uh, the on off switch. Huh. Maybe it's still reading and there's too much light. All right, let's walk over to the chicken coop because it's time to close the chickens up anyway. Talk to you in a few. I know, Panda's all excited. We're going to go tell the chickens night night. Talk to you in a few. So it's not exactly dark yet, but believe it or not, it is dark enough. And what I mean by that is the low light. Did you see how it just kind of popped out there at the tree? That's the low light that's on. That's the one that I moved from up by the Jeep. So it, it lets me see Again, it's not exactly, you know, 9.30 dark out here. But it gives light in the coop. You know, so I can see as I'm walking out here, for lack of better words. And then what it should do, it's like that one there, as I get closer within its range, it should actually pop up bright like that. And now I can see inside the entire run. Um, I can see if there's a raccoon hiding in here or a snake hiding in here. And I can see to close the coop door. Does that make sense? Without having to have the headlight on and have the flashlight. And, uh, you know, just all of the stuff. And it did, it just went out because I'm standing still. And as soon as I turn around and start moving again, it'll, um, it'll go bright again. So, I like the addition of this, because it lets me see without having to carry a bunch of stuff out here with me. You know? All right. So the, the coop is closed and the, the run is secure. Now that one will stay low light, you know, and that one will go off as soon as I'm done working out here. So, and I like that. I think that's going to work well. Um, when the roost closed, it's, it's here on the outside at the door. So if, I'm, if, I'm, if I need to come up and open it like in the morning, again, it provides light. Um, and then once the door is open, the, uh, the light sets in the right position to get charged through that gap in the... Uh, in my tree canopy. So, we'll see how well this works. 
Now the other one I want to stick out here, so it lights this area up. I'm not sure where or how yet. The uh, part of me thinks off of this tree somewhere. That way it shines down here and lights all of this up. Let's see Mount Neat. Yeah, lights all of this up. Is the thought process. Um, the other thought process is to hook something here off of this stump and put it there. Um, just not sure yet. That's why it's not hung up out here yet. Just kind of charging up front. All right, talk to you in a few. All right, you can tell by the flashing. It is on. It is working. I just I must have bumped the off and on switch when I uh, when I was setting it up on the T post there. Um, just for clarity, you see the little white light right there? That is the, the one that used to be up here by the Jeep that is in low power mode right now. So it lights up the door. So, what we're going to do is try and walk up. Kind of see when this catches the, the motion or the movement to turn on. Because the goal is when I get here and it's dark... Um, that the light turns on so I can, I can see my rocks and not back into them. All right, I don't think I have the, yeah, see I'm all the way here at the, at the edge of the driveway before it turns on. So I'm going to have to adjust that. Because the, the goal, I back in. Um, I live in a forest. Should the forest ever catch fire, I want to be able to load panda, you know, load kitty and drive. I don't have to worry about backing up and turning around. In order to do that, I pull in, I back in. The rocks here, I don't want to take out my uh, my tail lights. This also allows me, if I need to put air in my tires or something on this side, it always gives me light on the dark side. Because the lights from the house don't shine over here when the Jeep's here. So anyway, I like the light here. Always have. So... I'm going to adjust that forward a little, and then I'm just going to have to wait until the next time I come home late to see if it lights up when and where I would like it to light up. All right. It does work, though. Talk to you guys later.